Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make this perfect mini mandazis. And without wasting any time, let's get started. So to start off, make sure that your hands are washed and clean as you will be kneading the dough using your hands. Add in your flour. Followed by your sugar. And mix all the dry ingredients together. So if you choose to add your grated lemon peels or your orange zest as well, this is the point where you add and mix with the dry ingredients. Once that is done, we'll be adding in our margarine. And mix the margarine together with the dry ingredients until it's completely dissolved. Mm -hmm. Once everything is well mixed, at this point add in your eggs. Followed by your vanilla extract. This is optional but... You can add the vanilla extracts. It adds that nice aroma to your mandazis. It sort of feels like a cake uh, aroma. So it's really, really nice if you choose to add the vanilla extract. Mix all the wet ingredients together with the dry ingredients. Then at this point, add in your milk as you need. Add in the milk slowly by bits so that you do not make your dough mushy. So just keep kneading until it's completely soft. Now that you have the texture as you can see here, make sure that you knead your dough very well for about 10 minutes. This is what will give you a very soft mandazi. Then cover your dough with a kitchen towel or a foil and let it rest for about 30 minutes to an hour. So 40 minutes later, the dough is ready you can see how soft it is so at this point you roll your dough and cut it into the desired shapes uh, today I'm just cutting them into squares or rectangles you, if you want you can cut them into very small stripes and braid them you can use a bottle top to make round shapes so you can always play around with your dough to create the shapes that you want So make sure that it's not too thin or too thick as I'm showing you here so that the mandazis cook well on the inside. Once you're done line your bowl with paper towels just to soak in the excess oil and a quick tip instead of dipping your mandazis uh, to check if the oil is hot you can always use a wooden spoon as I'm showing you here and when the bubbles come around it as you can see then it means the oil is hot enough to 
cook your mandazis. Dip uh, your mandazis into your hot oil. It's medium high heat so that they cook well and make sure that they come out golden brown as you can see here. Once ready, set aside. Also wanted to show you guys, you can see that the mandazis come out dry, not oily. And this is what you want. You don't want oily mandazis. Continue to cook the rest of your mandazis. have your mandazis they are ready they are looking really really good you can serve them with tea or coffee i hope you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't and i'll see you guys on my next one till next time bye bye